Hey everyone, Jeff here again. I want to show you how to make a sepia tone preset. There's one little catch that I want to make sure that you're aware of and we'll get to it in just a second. Um, and I want to start that by showing you that I have done some toning to this image. So when you make your preset, you want to make sure that it only affects the, the areas that you have chosen in order to make it that color. I'll show you when we start to save the preset exactly what I'm talking about. But here's the same image that we started with that we were using in the printing module. Hopefully, hopefully you found that and were able to get through that whole module or that whole video and, and able to get some good tips out of there. Um, but to start with sepia tone, this is how we do it. I know there's a million ways to do coloring and all that good stuff in Photoshop and Lightroom. This is how we do it. Um, in under treatment, click black and white, scroll down to split toning. I have to know that ours is 35 and 20. So I am simply typing this in and 20. And that is our sepia tone, how it would look on this image after I have done these adjustments to it. So now how do I save this? Um, I've done this work. I like the way the sepia tone looks. It's very simple to save. You go over here to presets, you click the plus button, create preset. This is where I want you to make sure that your sepia tone only affects the two adjustments that we made. We made an adjustment in this area over here called treatment, which automatically changed this profile to Adobe Monochrome, which I'm perfectly fine with. And then we also made an adjustment down here to split toning. So when you make your preset, make the preset only do what you have adjusted in your coloration. So we're going to call this demo, demo sepia and hit create. Okay. Why do I say that? Well, this, the actual preset that I have for my studio is right here. Doc Wenzel sepia and you see when I hovered over it it changed on the screen so what happened well here's the demo sepia that we just created here's my studio sepia you can see that in the center here the center area of the photo it's not as bright and the vignetting around the outside is gone that's because we apply our sepia tone at the beginning of editing, not at the end of editing. So any adjustments that you've made, our sepia tone preset will wipe out. That's why we do it at the beginning. Then we can add to and make it look better based on, we're going to make a print for these people in sepia. Let's make it look great. So that's the difference. That's why I say be careful with how and, and, and make it only affect because the way we set this current one up in this video, we can apply it at any stage and it will make the toning um, versus this one is there's no, I'm just going to click on it. There's no adjustments that have been made over here. You can see they all zeroed out. And if I click back on my history panel here on the left, you can see that there's actually quite aggressive some of these are quite aggressive in the the adjustments that have been made so hopefully this is helpful i am going to go into some more detail in a future video about um, other presets that we have for the studio um, such as adding grain and fun things like that that might really enhance your old time photos and and look really awesome in uh in sepia tone color so Again, this is Jeff at InstaImage. Hope this has been helpful, and I will catch you in, a, in an upcoming video.